So now we're going to begin to apply these rules. Number one is multiplication. So you're going to add the exponents. So 3 plus 4 is 7. You keep the base, add the exponents. Gets 3 to the 7th. Next one, we are raising a power to a power. So you're going to distribute the 4 by multiplying. So your base is 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. Again, we're raising a power to a power first. So we're going to get 8 plus 2 to the power of 4. Then we're going to add inside because they are both constant numbers. So we get 8 plus 2 is 10 to the 4th. And then we distribute the 4. 4 times 1 is 4. So you get 10 to the 4th. Number 4. We're multiplying again, so we're going to add the exponents. So our base stays 6. Negative 7 plus 10 is 3. On number 5, we're multiplying again, so we're adding. So our base stays 4. And then negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7. So we have to use another one of our rules. When you have a negative exponent, you have to take the reciprocal to ma and make the exponent positive. So you move all of this down, and it becomes 1 over 4 to the positive 7. Our next rule, we have to distribute first to the top and bottom, and we get 6 to the negative 1 over 7 to the negative 1. Both are negative, so we have to move... 7 up there and the 6 down here because so we need to take the reciprocal and make the exponents positive. Number 7, you're dividing so you have to subtract the exponents. So you're going to keep the base of 5. Then you have negative 3 minus 2 which gives you negative 5. Now we have to have an, use another rule because that's a negative exponent. So we need to move all of this down. So we get 1 over 5 to the power of positive 5. On number 8, we need to distribute to the top and bottom first. And you get negative 2 to the third over 5 to the third. On number 9, you have to distribute the 9, then you have to distribute the 2. So you get negative 2 to the 9th over negative 2 to the 2. And since 9 is odd, this one will stay a negative. And since 2 is even, this becomes a positive. So you have negative 2 ninths over 2 to the second power, which reduced becomes negative 128. Number 10, we have 6 to the power of 0, so we have to use our power of 0 rule. That becomes 1. Then we have negative exponents so that moves everything to the top so we have 1 times 4 to the third which equals 4 to the third for number 11 we're going to start simple by simplifying so we have 4y then 7 to the power of 0 equals 1 we multiply across and we get 4y Number 12, we're multiplying same bases, so we're going to add. We're going to keep our base as x, and 4 plus 5 is 9. Number 13, we're going to distribute. And we get negative 5 to the negative third, y to the negative 3. And since they're both negative, 
we need to take the reciprocal and to make a positive. So it becomes 1 over negative 5 to the third y to the third. Number 14, we need to use our power to raise to the power rule and multiply the exponents. And we get 4 to the tenth. On number 15, we need to distribute to everything on the top and distribute to everything on the bottom. So you're going to get negative 2 to the 4th, m to the 8th, n to the 4, over 3 to the 4, m to the 4, n to the 8th. And you need to simplify, so you get, since the 4 is a positive, is an even, this makes the negative 2 a positive. So you get 16 m to the 8th n to the 4 over 81 m to the 4 n to the 8th. 16 and 81 are as reduced as they can go. So then we're going to look at the m's. You look at where the higher exponent is, and it's 8 and it's on top. So you're going to write m on top. Then you're going to subtract the exponents. 8 minus 4 is 4. Then you're going to look at n, the higher exponents on the bottom. So you're going to write n, and then 8 minus 4 is 4. And that is your final answer. Number 16. You're going to first distribute to everything. So you're going to get 2 to the third x to the 6, because 3 times 2 is 6, y to the 3rd. Then you're going to distribute to everything. Since 2 is even, that becomes a positive 3. So 3 squared, 2 times 1 is 2, y to the 4th, 2 times 2 is 4. Then we're going to multiply across and add our exponents. So 2 to the 3rd is 8 and 3 to the second is 9, so 8 times 9 is 72. Then x to the 6 times x squared will be x, and you add the exponents, so 6 plus 2 is 8. Then you have y to the third times y to the fourth, so you add the exponents, 3 plus 4 is 7. Number 17. We have to distribute again. So you get 8 squared, m to the third times 2 is 6, then you get 1 half squared, m to the 2 times 2 is 4, then 8 squared is 64, so you get 64 m to the 6, and 1 half times 1 half, your multiplying cross will be 1 fourth m to the fourth. Then you're multiplying across, which means you can reduce 4 into 64. And that will give us 16, and then m6 times m4, you're going to add the exponents, m to the tenth. Final answer. On 18, you're going to start by simplifying first. 2 fifths is at the lowest. Then you're going to look at the x's. They cancel out. Then you're going to look at the y's and see where the higher one is, and it's on top. And 4 minus 2 is 2. Then you're going to see what you can simplify in the next one. Negative 30 divided by 2. 2 will go into 2, 1. 2 will go into negative 30, negative 15. So you get negative 15. Then you look at the x's. You look at where the highest power is, and it's on the bottom. 2 minus 1 is 1. Then the y's cancel out. Now we're going to multiply across. 2 times negative 15 is negative 30. y squared 
over 5 times x, 5x. Then we can reduce. 5 will go into negative 30, negative 6 times. y squared stays the same over x. Number 19, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start by reducing. 20 divided by 4. Four divided by four is one, 20 divided by four is five. So we get five on top. Then x to the third in x, we look where the higher power of x is and it's on top. Three minus one is two. Then we look at the y and the higher power is on the bottom. Two minus one is one. Now we're gonna reduce the second one. The negatives become a positive because negative divided by negative is positive. Then 6 stays on top, the x's cancel out, and the y stays on top. So now we're going to multiply across. 5 times 6 is 30, x squared, y, over y. But we're not finished, because this can reduce, the y's can cancel out, and we get 30 x squared. For number 20, you're looking at the word problem. You started a savings account in 1994. The balance A is given by A equals 250 times 1.08 to the power of T. What is the balance in account in 1994, 1999, and 2001? So let's start by writing our years. 1994 is year zero. That's our starting point, if you remember from ordered pairs and when we were working with the word problems. Then 1999, we look at 1994 to 1999, and that's five years. Then 2001, we had to go back to 1994 again, and 1994 to 2001 is seven years. Now we're going to write our formula. A equals 250 times 1.08 to the power of t. You're going to use this formula for all three of these. So we're going to start with 1994 first. So we get a equals 250 times 1.08 to the power of 0. And if you remember, anything to the power of 0 is 1, so you get 250 times 1, so you get A equals 250. So in 1994, there's $250 in the savings account. You're going to do this with each one. And for T, you're going to plug in, so like we plugged in 0 for the first one. For 1999, you're going to plug in 5. So your formula would be A equals 250, 1.08 to the power of 5. And then you would solve. If you find that answer, you do the same thing with 7. You plug in the 7 for the T.